Unveiling the British Tradition. What does tea time really mean? Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a very interesting topic in store for you. Especially if you are intrigued by British culture or are keen on enhancing your English vocabulary. We are going to unravel the mystery behind the phrase, tea time. Whether you're an English learner or just curious about British traditions, you're in the right place. First things first, let's delve into a bit of history. Tea time is a tradition that dates back to the 19th century in Britain. It was Anna, the Duchess of Bedford, who is credited with creating this trend. During those times, people would usually have just two main meals a day, a hearty breakfast and a late dinner. The Duchess found herself feeling hungry during the late afternoon and started having tea with some bread and butter to tide her over until dinner. This habit quickly turned into a social event as she began inviting friends to join her. Tea time, in this historical context, refers to a mini meal or a social gathering in the late afternoon, where people would enjoy tea along with some light snacks. Fast forward to today, the phrase, tea time, has evolved and can have a variety of meanings depending on the context and the region. One. In Britain, for many Brits, tea time still holds its traditional sense and is observed in the late afternoon or early evening. However, in some parts of the UK, tea time can also refer to dinner, especially in working class families. 2. In other English speaking countries, in countries like the United States, tea time may simply refer to any time a person decides to have a cup of tea. The historical and social context might not be as strong. 3. Informal usage. Sometimes, people might use tea time informally to refer to taking a break, relaxing, or unwinding, regardless of whether tea is actually consumed. To help you better understand how to use this phrase in real life situations, let's go through some examples. 1. Traditional sense. Shall we meet for tea time at 4 p.m.? 2. Referring to dinner, what are we having for tea time tonight? 3. Taking a break, I need a tea time before I can start working on this project. Notice how the meaning changes slightly depending on the context. And there you have it, a deep dive into the phrase, tea time, and its various meanings and usages. We hope this video has been enlightening and adds a charming touch to your English vocabulary. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about culture, history, and context. Don't forget to subscribe for more interesting insights into the English language, and feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.